Alright guys, so moving right along with our workout. First exercise is back, chest, shoulder. We're gonna start that over again. So everything I'm doing right now is machines to warm up. We're actually gonna finish with dumbbells. A little bit backwards today, okay? Backwards from what I normally do. So this is just gonna be your typical deltoid raise. What I like to do is I'll do three sets of 21 reps. The reason I'm doing 21 reps, this is a great show muscle right here, okay? Look at somebody who maybe doesn't have a great physique, but has great shoulders. All right, wide shoulders is gonna make your upper body look that much bigger. It's gonna make your waist look, waist look smaller. It's really how Hollywood does it to create this a great aesthetic physique. Think of all your superheroes, you know? They got you know, wide shoulders, a thick upper chest, and a small waist, and even a back, like the traps and everything are more developed. So they may not work every single muscle like equally, but they work out to get the look optimally, if that makes sense, all right? So here we go, three sets of 21 reps. This is a little bit smaller muscle. There's three different heads to the, uh, to the deltoid. We're working more like the side, the medial, lateral raises. And uh, it's gonna be that great pop show muscle, show, uh, show muscle. Ties into the tricep, into the bicep. Get that nice V. Here we go. The idea here, we're gonna do the first set, 21 reps. Second set, we're gonna do 17 reps. Third set, we're gonna do 15 reps. Kind of a reverse pyramid. Each time, I'm gonna put the weight up just a little bit. A small increment is all you need. And what I wanna do now is I wanna just kinda of get some more volume. Volume with the shoulders. I found for myself, personally, that just throwing up heavy weight, it's a great way to grow and get bigger. But you run the risk sometimes, if you don't have a spotter, of getting hurt. And what I've found works better for me, rather than just doing some of the you know, lower, uh, shorter, smaller sets with really heavy weight, I do a bit more volume, and I definitely incorporate the weight as well. And you gotta find what works for you. You gotta find your sweet spot. But with a few more extra reps, and increasing the volume a little bit each time, I actually get a much better pump, and I feel like my muscles just show and develop better. Guys, I learned this when I was working out with a gentleman named Don years ago. I said, everybody, oh, you gotta lift big, small sets, come in for a half hour and leave. I would train with this guy, it was probably overtraining, if there is such a thing, but two or three hours a day, and he would just hit volume, volume, volume. But I'm so grateful for that lesson because the physique that I have today, I mean, thank you God, I am blessed, and I work my ass off for it, and I diet for it, nutrition, meal plan, Supplements, I mean, I really put a lot of time into it. But what I think really built that base was this guy taking so much time and showing me that just what everybody else is doing to get the results, sometimes you get to go against the grain of what people are teaching, figure things out and try things out for yourself. We all have different body types. So what works for one person may not work for another. For me, it's always been volume and reps over just trying to push heavy weight. I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but you got some dude who's slamming weight in the back with the chains. It's a little bit annoying, but hey, God bless him, he's doing him, and he's here. Can't say that about everybody, so do you.